video shows you how to record a sale in new cash. It's very, very simple. Now, I'm doing this specifically for a business that has very few customers, doesn't have a lot of sale events, you're not making sales every day, and it's pretty easy to keep track of your sales transactions. In that case, you don't need all the bells and whistles that new cash has to offer, such as customer names and addresses and so on. All you need to do is just keep track of the sale, and I'm also assuming that your cash is mixed with your company's cash. In other words, your company doesn't have its own checking account, but when you receive this check, you deposit it into your personal checking account. What you'll do is click here on under income, if income is closed, just open it up, and click on sales, write in the date. Now under transfer, this is the tricky part, what you want to do is transfer this to equity capital. You want to transfer this to equity capital. And the amount of the income is going to be written here. Let's suppose we'll be very confident, and let's suppose it's $10,000. And that's it. Now, if you look at an income statement, you'll see. Let's reload this. Then now we have $10,000 in sales. If you look at your balance sheet, you'll see now that I have a withdrawal shown in capital of $9,840, net withdrawal total, and retained earnings of $9,843. And that's it.